Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I just got back from Miami and I had not had a chance to uh, do a video uh, this weekend. So I, forgive me if I'm all over the place, forgive this hair, it's overdue. I need to do my hair very, very soon. But um, you know, there's so many videos that I wanna do for you guys and I just don't find enough time to be able to get it done. So. Um, I do want to say first and foremost, please do not judge me if some of my videos sometimes are long um, or if sometimes I have like big, big hauls. And the reason for them is that I don't do videos like on a regular basis, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the weekend for you. I'm only able to do one video a week for now. Hopefully one day that'll change. But until then, please bear with me. I am so excited because I have a collection of shoes that I w I've been wanting to show you. Um, this is a haul for the summer of shoes that I have been, you know, purchasing, some on sale, some I've just fallen in love with, and I just want to share them with you because maybe you find something here that you may like for yourself, uh, that you may still get it at a good price, at a good bargain sale going on for the summer. And let's just get started and stop the, with the rambling. And first and foremost, I wanna share uh, some of my shoes that I've gotten from Shoe Dazzle. And I will tell you something about, about Shoe Dazzle. I am a, me a member of Shoe Dazzle. Um, I purchase or I, you know, they send me every month like a, a closet and I get to choose which shoes might be fitting for um, the season. And if I like them, I only pay $39.99 and then I get the shoes or I can just skip the month. Um, and then a lot of times they have amazing sales, like everything's like a 40% off or 50% off. So a lot of the shoes that I have on here, I think only one of them was uh, full price and the rest were all at a major discount. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the pros and the cons about some of these shoes um, because First and foremost, I think that uh, Shoe Dazzle shoes, I think you need to probably get one half, half size down. So I am a regular size seven and I fit perfectly as a size seven on most brands, but somebody's calling me. But I've noticed that with Shoe Dazzle, like most of the shoes size seven, they all fit a little bit big on me. So this is the first pair of shoes that I got. These are so on trend, you guys, for the summer. I've already worn them and I wanted to give you a little bit of a review about these. Um, I love, you know, the, the nude color. Um, I love that it has a buckle on the side. Um, it's suede um, material, not real suede, but uh, suede pretend, make believe suede. Um, and then, it is a wedge. Let me just buckle that in. So it is a wedge. And, you know, typically what I love about the pair of shoes is that it's not very um, tight up here um, around the ankle area or around the higher part of your foot. Um, so because it's not too tight, my foot tends to slide a little bit towards the front. Sorry, you guys got a little interrupted there. So like I was saying, so the shoe, I think it's really well made, you know. Um, I am, I'm gonna tell you guys, like they are not like the best quality uh, type of shoes. However, you know, here and there, they do come out with like some really, really nice shoes. So um, I'm thinking this shoe, I will have to probably put some little padding in here so that my foot doesn't slide forward. Um, but I think this is perfect for the summer, perfect for, you know, wearing it with summer dresses, sh uh, you know, shorts or um, short dresses, even long dresses or skirts. This is perfect. And I've even worn this already to work. Like I said, I just have to probably um, find some padding here so my foot doesn't slide forward. And one more thing, most of their shoes tend to hurt a little bit back here. So... I ended up uh, finding and ordering from DSW this Spenko Second Skin Blister, a blister kit. 
and um, it comes in a bunch of different sizes I think um, and then I bought another one that you can actually cut it and adjust it to however you need you know the coverage uh, for your shoe area that's like getting hurt for your foot that's get for the part of your foot that's getting hurt this one I think already comes in different sizes so you just choose uh, the one that you need and just you know put it in the back of your foot so really cool I think I got this for like $10 this pair of shoes okay so this next pair when I saw them I'm like oh my god I need so badly a pair of yellow high by the way those other wedges are not that high I think they were like three inches high these on the other hand are way higher these are like i think four to four and a half maybe even five inches uh they're pretty pretty high but i love it because i have a lot of really really long dresses and i have really really long skirts and i don't like them to be like dragging on the floor so i certainly need a pair of um wedges that are much taller and that has like a really nice you know a uh, high size uh, platform and so certainly these are it this is also made of the same suede like material i love that it's like yellow bright yellow you can wear it literally with anything anything that you want a pop of color these are the shoes for you um and i love it also that it has like the um robe uh, heel it's really really st sturdy uh, they are heavy these are heavy the other ones are much much lighter these are heavy I wore them this weekend with a few outfits um, they certainly hurt back here especially because this the other ones as you saw don't have anything in the back these have actually a zipper and um, man they kill me and I did not have this in hand, so I just ended up uh, getting, a, you know, band-aids and just placing band-aids on my foot. Um, but, I mean, I, I know a lot of people do not purchase shoes that do not fit them well or that hurt if they hurt them or if they're not comfortable, they just don't wear them. I'm one of those that I give it a little bit of a try and see how much I can stand it as I am getting into my years i'm certainly more inclined um uh, for you know using shoes that are a lot more comfortable but these were not that bad i think that with the correct um type of you know uh blister coverage um remedy thingy i will be okay so really like these um but they hurt so shoe dazzle, if you're listening to this, you gotta work on some of these things. Okay, next I have another pair. These are very much in fashion right now as well, you guys. I love these because everyone is into the acrylic shoe lately. Um, I was so excited about this pair when I saw them. I will tell you that they are completely sold out online um on on the shoe dazzle website however they have a style that is kind of similar to this one that it's not it doesn't have like the coverage in the back it's it, it literally it just crisscrosses in the back and then ties around the uh the ankle but these were so cute i wore them for father's day even though i didn't end up going anywhere because it rained all weekend um, but I love the acrylic heel with kind of like an ombre effect. Um, nude color. It, it's kind of imitating leather. I think it's pleather. It's not obviously real leather. It, you know, comfort level, really, really good in the front. Absolutely does not hurt whatsoever. But again, the same situation, you know, anything that kind of ties around the ankles, I have noticed with the shoe dazzle shoes. They end up hurting a little bit so i'm excited that i have these babies with me so hopefully next time i wear them they are not going to hurt me as much but um certainly these are a keep keeper and 
they're a little more stylish so they're more for like you know pretty summer dresses that are a little more refined maybe to go to baby shower uh, you know some early breakfast or something pretty a nice date um, a dinner even uh, so um, really really you know church I really really enjoy these okay so my last pair from shoe dazzle are these wedges these are actually kind of um espadrille wedges they are you guys a perfect imitation from um a brand a spanish brand called castaner uh, that makes espadrille wedges in spain um needless to say obviously that brand is very high end so i think the cast the original castaner um and i don't know if it's Castan yeah, i think it's castaner because it's for the name or castaner no it's castaner um the original brand i think the original style it became really famous because kate middleton wears these all the time I think the original price for those run for over 150 to 300 and something depending on the on the style and so when I saw these I'm like oh wow these are great and I also got these on sale for like under $20 so that was great so I'll tell you I felt like they were really really well made with all of the you know um, robe material around the heel these are not as high as the yellow these are certainly four inches but the platform is a lot lower so um they're very very comfortable my foot does dance a little bit in here like it's they're not fitted to your foot if you have a wide foot um definitely this is gonna be perfect because it's not gonna be tight on you whatsoever um, I think I probably would have done better with a six and a half, uh, maybe because I feel like these kind of like dance a little bit or wiggle a little bit around my foot, but they fit so pretty. Like, you know, when you wrap them around your ankle, you can wrap them even, you know, higher onto your leg. And these are perfect to wear with shorts, summer shorts, capri pants uh high waisted jeans um you know that you can roll up um with skirts you name it these are great for the summer and i really have enjoyed these and i do believe that pretty m most all of the shoes that i have shown you from shudasso they still have with the exception of the acrylic one but i mean twenty dollars versus 150 oh uh, yeah any day. Hola, mi amor. Ven acá, ven. Dame, ponte lo, ponte esto. Mira, tu guayo. Ponte lo, abuelito. Guayo, guayo. Guayo, guayo, ven. Can we just take a look at my son's hair? Because I'm just like in love with his hair. I'm just in love with his hair. Oh, my son. Oh, my all right we're gonna keep going um i wanted to say one thing about uh all of these shoes you guys i am a shoe lover i am a shoe lover i am a makeup lover i am a jewelry lover i am a fashion lover i am a dress lover i mean i am a handbag lover i love everything that has to do with being a girl and i hope you don't think this is too excessive or that i have too many things um i know that most youtube people have a lot more than me all of this i have purchased myself with my hard earned money uh, i am not sponsored in any way not yet at least and if i ever am i will certainly be uh you know disclosing that up front um, because obviously a girl would love to make a living uh, here on YouTube but you know I just wanted to share these things with you because I am so passionate about uh, you know just being a girl and, and wearing fun items and sharing it with my girlfriends and I remember when I was younger that I would go to my girlfriend's you know closet and we would like swap things and she would wear my things and I would you know wear hers and we would like dress each other up you know and I miss those days so um, I hope that 
you you know you receive that from me on this in this video and that you know if you have recommendations that you want to share with me please do so because i would love to check them out and see if that you know there may be some items that i may love myself and then i can share here with other women uh so um just wanted to you know throw that out there and um and be very transparent uh regarding that so if you saw in one of my um first videos that i did my first um lookbook i had purchased some steve madden shoes those are real suede also wedges in color brown and i love them but i had seen online the color blue which was like a, an ocean blue uh pair and those sold out immediately it was like a sea foam or something like that and i ended up searching 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 and i found them on poshmark um for they were brand new still with the tag on and everything of course i got them for much cheaper uh but i just want to share them because these are such fun um and such well-made shoes i love steve madden and these again as you can see i love this trend i love the rope heel this one does have a little bit of a platform so these are a little bit higher not as high as the yellow but kind of up there i think these are four inches as well and i think this is about one and a half to two inch high platform and i love these because these you guys they wrap like all the way up to your knee if you wanted to um super super comfortable for the summer spring summer to wear again with you know palazzo pants or the, the dresses the summer dresses just any outfit in the summer um will be ideal for these pair of shoes and i just wanted to share them with you because i love them i haven't worn these yet so i'm still thinking about the outfits that i want to wear them with okay so the next pair i had seen it at uh, dillard's and they were at full price at the time and i said no way i don't want to spend that kind of money I don't want to spend that kind of money on flip-flops so i waited to see if they would go on sale and lo and behold they went on sale so um these are kate spade flip-flops i love this you guys because look at the little lips look at all the little lips around it i love these and then in red with the little you know heart um icon from kate spade and i got these on sale and i'm pretty sure that if you go on dillard's you can still find these on sale they they had a few colors i think they had black red and then white but i really really love them in um in red um with the little stripes this this whole combination always like the red blue and white um, always reminds me of, of France for some reason, Saint-Tropez, this, this whole, you know, the French stripes always takes me back to, to, to France for some reason. And they're so, so, so comfortable. I don't have any flat, um, I don't have any flip-flops that have a little bit of a wedge like this. So they're very flattering and I think also, uh, very comfortable on your heel. And I, you know, it's funny because I had never purchased anything at Dillard's, but they have amazing things. And they just happen to have a Dillard's in the corner of my job. That's dangerous. Okay. Next is by the brand Lofler Randall. I was browsing Instagram and then I saw these sandals on somebody and I'm like, oh my God, those sandals are so beautiful. And I went on a hunt to see where i could find them and i found them at Saks fifth avenue um i took advantage that they were also on sale this pair of sandals you guys they come in two colors they come in this nude color these are real leather oh my god i love them the style i think is called the star let me see it's called ankle tie star ankle tie star sandal this is the wheat color with um gold stars 
they're flat they're so so soft real leather oh my god they fit so beautiful i put them on um for a little bit of a shoot that i did on myself uh the day that i did this natural um makeup look i will link that video down below but i posted a picture um you know wearing these with um with a jumpsuit a yellow jumpsuit that I, I was wearing that day and oh my god these are so beautiful but i mean literally you can wear these with like a white dress also i think it would look so beautiful um it, they're kind of they're not cushiony they're not but the bottom is made of rubber and so when you land your foot on the ground it feels a little a little cushiony and again you can kind of tie them up not all the way up to your to your knee but pretty high all right you guys so i'm thinking that it's getting late so i'm gonna go ahead and hurry up because i still have a bunch of shoes to show you so the next pair of shoes i purchased them uh on sale at Nor uh, nordstrom not Nor nordstrom rack but nordstrom and i love this brand you guys this is these are the shuts the Schutz um, brand. Again, these are so in style. The nude color shoes with the acrylic, um, you know, anything, anything acrylic. So the front of these are acrylic. These are a lot more stylish and a lot more refined. So obviously I w would wear these with a really beautiful dress, you know, um, maybe more of a night out. Um, and these wrap around the ankle as well super cute and if I wanted to make it extra spicy I would switch the tie with for this neon green color oh my god imagine and then painting my toenails this color how hot would that be I can't wait I can't wait to wear these I'm not sure when or where I'm gonna wear them with but um, I love them I think they may still be available again any of the shoes if they're still available I will link them down below for you guys but these are so so hot love the way these shoes are made these are Italian I believe shuts is um, no they're Brazilian and these the color of these are a little bit more um, rosy nude they're a little more warm nude next pair are sam edelman and also i got these actually i got these at nordstrom rack or i got them on sale at nordstrom not nordstrom rack but i think i ended up seeing them at nordstrom rack in color black and even at marshall's yeah so <laughs> i got these in um again nude because nude is what's in everything nude they wrap around the ankle these are sam edelman i love these so so beautiful look at that thin heel these are pretty comfortable uh you know considering that they're just very strappy and nothing's really holding your foot together but this um and i love i love the heel and i love this you know detail in the back with the colors just so pretty i love these shoes you guys for like a beautiful you know accentuated sort of uh dress or skirt on your waist and then flowy a-shape type of uh skirt or even like a pencil skirt or pencil dress i think that would look beautiful so these these were uh, a, a nice find um and I got them on sale so um, I typically don't like spending full price on something unless they're like crazy cannot find them anywhere type of shoes then yeah then I would probably go for full price but um, I like to wait to see some things to go down um, on sale in price because who doesn't like a bargain right these are also suede real suede real leather um, I love shoes that are well made and that have good materials because honestly they will certainly last you longer. I have noticed that I have purchased you know some of those like man-made materials 
and the shoes with this weather the you know the the heat and the humidity in florida ruins your shoes it opens them up it tears them apart like, like as if you've worn them out in such a way or if you went to war with them that's what i've noticed that some of my shoes look like and i've honestly haven't even worn them maybe more than two or three times and it's just from being put away in a box and just living in florida that's what florida weather will do to your shoes okay so my next pair is from for sure from nordstrom i got these on sale as well so these are a dupe or an inspired look by louboutin these are from mark fisher i got these in rose gold um and they have all the little studded i don't know if it's you know now i don't know if it's louboutin or valentino but these are stunning i love these they're not very high again as you can see i follow that trend very much i love the rope heel these are more like three inches high rose gold real leather um i got these on sale at nordstrom but then um i haven't worn them i, I can't wait to wear these uh, but then i found them at dsw in black for even cheaper than what I purchased them for. But then I saw them in black, so let me show you them in black, you guys. How pretty are these? Oh my God, I'm in love. And I got them for like $25 or something like that because I love DSW, I'm also a member there, so I get a bunch of points and I ended up like returning something and then I had like another 15 or $20 off and so these ended up costing me I think they were on sale for like 49 and then I got them for like 25 but aren't these so awesome and you know I think you can wear these in Florida for more than just the summer because they're just so trendy and so like rockish I would say with all these gold studs I love them okay keep going so there's a story behind these these are not leather and i like i said i typically do not like buying shoes that are not leather but these were very inexpensive they were like 20 dollars, and i had been dying to purchase a a you know wedge that had this color originally i was looking for some from steve madden that also had the you know the heel like all of the other ones that you've seen and it looked like this in the front. But I think that that's, that was probably like last summer or the summer before and they did not have them anymore this summer. So um, I ended up just going for these. These are, you know, very surprisingly comfortable. Not They do not weigh at all. They're by the brand Bamboo. I got these at DSW. And I have a handbag that matches this perfectly. So I just wanted something to kind of combine that wasn't just, uh, you know, the regular black or gold or something. I just wanted some brown. So hopefully this will last maybe a year or so. But I mean, for $20, you can't beat it. Very, very comfortable from DSW. As you can see, I went on a wedge kick. I mean, yeah, it, I think I have uh, enough wedges to last me five summers or more. Okay, so like I was saying, I was looking for a pair of brown leather wedges and I ended up buying those for $20 for like every day, you know, don't mind if they go bad, sort of. And then I saw these at Dillard's. You guys, look at the detail. Look at the detail. These are so beautiful. And again, it reminds me of France for some reason. The blue and white stripes reminds me of Saint Tropez. I don't know why, it just does. And these are leather and these are gonna last me a good time, a good old long time. Um, I love these because these are beaded and I mean look at this detail 
I mean, look at this detail. Oh my God. And I saw them when I first saw them. They were original price and I, you know, I went back the day that I went back to see if the Kate Spade had gone on sale and these had gone on sale too and they were 40% off. So I don't remember how much I got them for, but I think um, a good a good price and they fit so lovely. And I love that the buckle is like, it's a thick one. I mean, look at it. It's a big buckle and it fits so pretty. These are like about uh, three and a half to four uh, inches high and also about one and a half to maybe two inches uh, platform. So they fit so beautifully and so, so comfortable. And you know, I very similar to what I had in mind of what I wanted, even though it didn't have like that sling or that you know braided um you know strip of leather coming up onto your ankle but this was a, a unique style and i went for it these are by antonio milani and i got these at dillard's okay the next ones are also from dsw um dolce vita uh, dolce vita is a brand that has become very popular as well they have amazing sandals you guys and they're all leather material um so i got these at dsw on sale of course um just so pretty very fashionable this very chunky high heel wedge that's like almost like three inches or not three that's too exaggerated but about two and a half or something around here these are uh suede leather super soft i love these are like honestly they dance on my foot not because they're big but because they're just so comfortable like they i barely even feel them i have not worn them but i've tried them on and i can tell that that's how they feel and they are leather upper and um just very well made Dolce Vita Italian shoes. But of course, you know, some of these are made in China. I got these with points as well at DSW, which I love it when I get rewards. Don't you guys love it when you get rewards? It always gives you a reason to shop. Okay, and the last two that I'm gonna show you, they were probably my most expensive purchases and that's because these are like real good, well-made leather and branded. Um, I've never really had heard of these brands, but you know, they do sell them at um, Nordstrom. And these are called Bodkier, Bodkier, New York. And like I told you, I was behind a pair of yellow, nice yellow um, leather wedges. And I found these, I mean, I saw them and I wasn't looking for them, but I saw them. and they're like yellow mustard actually look at these you guys oh my god these are so beautiful look at the detail in that pair of shoe it's just so pretty and refined and the details with all the little you know little stars it has like uh, it, it almost makes like a star and then i love that the heel is thin in the back and these are very high as well these are like four inches probably four and a half they're high but beautiful and they fit so so nice one of my best pur purchases so far uh, in, in terms of shoes uh, these can be worn again with just anything in the summer but again if you want like a pop of color this is beautiful to wear with like you know blue like royal blue jeans uh, even with like a whole black outfit and the yellow, the yellow uh, shoes, I think that would look beautiful. And now yellow is so in fashion. So maybe like pretty yellow eyes and you know, wear like a black dress or uh, a black fitted dress. And then these, oh, how pretty. Okay, my last pair, these are from uh, Pele Moda, Pele Moda. The Pelle Moda, I'm not sure how do you pronounce it. Again, nude. Nude is what's in. So I needed a pair of nude wedges because I didn't have a pair of nude wedges. And I saw these 
Oh my God, how cute are these? These are also leather, suede, real leather, real suede leather. And these are scalloped, you guys. Look at this detail, how beautiful that is. Um, these are also high, about four inches and about two, two and a half maybe in the front. Um, I don't think that these are gonna hurt in the back because this is like um, all um, lined with leather, also suede in the inside. But if it does, then I still have my blister uh, you know coverage there and this is perfect to wear with like a white dress or even like a whole black outfit or just anything that's like neutral in color these will be so pretty to wear with something like that um, I have a beautiful dress that I white dress that I am thinking this will be perfect with um, I can't wear can't wait to wear it now for the summer so these were a little bit more high in price because the nude was the color that had completely sold out everywhere. I did find them in red and other colors on sale at Nordstrom Rack and some other stores, but the nude was like full price and you could not get it from anywhere except from the from the actual brand itself. So, um, and I could see that the, the sizes were like running out so I ended up, you know, biting the bullet for that. And that's about it, you guys, in terms of shoes for me. But I wanted to show you two pairs. And so the other two pairs that I wanted to share with you guys are not for me, but they're my babies. And I don't end up buying a lot of shoes for him, you guys, because this little guy, his foot grows by the day. And he just, honestly, I purchased a pair of shoes for him and next thing you know, like a week later, they're not fitting anymore. So, um, I saw, well, first of all, he loves fire, um, fire, not firemen, but fire trucks and anything that has to do with firemen and fire trucks. And so I saw these at Target, you guys, and I was like, oh my God, I need to get these, they're so cute. He had a pair of wellies um, that were sharks and he absolutely loved those. Uh, but of course he, his foot grew and he no longer can fit in them. And so I saw these and I was like, this is perfect for the summer now when it starts raining. Um, and when he saw them, he was like, his eyes were like, like fire. <laughs> he gravitated towards them. He still has not worn them because it's been awfully hot here in Estero. Uh, but it, you were going into this rainy season. So I can tell you that I know he's going to get a good use of for these. Um, and I can't wait to maybe take a picture and post it on Instagram so you guys can see how cute these are. I also got these on sale. No, I did not. These were $20 and Target always comes up with sales here and there, but I, you know, these were also running out in size and I didn't want to, you know, risk it for him not to have a new pair. And then the last but not least, and I'm done with this, is this pair of Mickey Mouse shoes. I didn't even know that Mickey Mouse had a brand of, sh of you know, for shoes. Uh, these are so cute. I had I saw these, uh, he's already worn these by the way. Um, I saw these at um, Ross for like, um, I don't know, like 15, 17 dollars. But these are so cute. They have like the little Mickey Mouse hand and they're like the Velcro tie, which is perfect for him because he, he does have a little bit of a wide little foot. Uh, so, you know, the shoes that have ties in them, they usually are tight on him. So these are perfect because these will adjust to his foot, to the width of his shoe, of his foot. Um, and I love these. These are, they remind me of like, I don't know, um, and that's like Play-Doh there. <gasps> or can be something like that. And he has a little Mickey Mouse here and a Mickey Mouse back here. Uh, but these remind me of like, I don't know, like a Prada type of shoe. Like, you know how they have those colors, Prada shoes or Prada tennis shoes. So when I saw them, I'm like, oh my God, how cute, I gotta get them. And he's been enjoying these quite a bit. And so that's it, you guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've shown you a bunch of shoes. 
um, hopefully I can start coming up with looks where I can start utilizing some of the shoes and you know showing you how it is that I mix and match and I, I combine my outfits and if you did enjoy this video and you would like to maybe recommend me a brand or a pair of shoes now that you see what I like um, please leave me a comment down below uh, let me know what those are and uh, if you haven't subscribed already please do so thank you so much if you already are subscribed and following me i appreciate you and i hope you've been enjoying the videos and the content that i have been putting together for you um i hope that you have you have had a great week and i do want to sh you know just wish you an amazing rest of your week for next week uh thank you so much for joining me this evening and uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for following me and have an amazing rest of your week. So I'm thinking that I might need to get some of those. Okay, baby. Okay, Louis Vuitton, Louis, Louis Vuitton. I never know how to pronounce that. Hold on. Google, how do you pronounce Louis Vuitton. That's pronounced Louis Vuitton. That's pronounced Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> cuidado, cuidado. Mama. Sí, mi amor. Toma, mama. Gracias, mi amor. Open it. Open it. Walk. Open it. Open and walk it. Wow! And this one. Mm -hmm. I'll and block it. Wow! Block it. Tápalo. Oh. Tápalo. Gracias. Lleva otro para allá. Toma. Gracias, mi amor. Open. Block. De, de nuevo. Wow! ¿Qué pasó con.? Mira, trae el iPad. Ve y trae el iPad. Ten cuidado. Entrate ahí adentro. Hot here in Miami. Uh, 